<laughs> What's going on champs and champets? It's FireMonkey here and you know I've been watching the Overwatch League the past few days because even though at first I was like it's kind of hard to figure out when to watch it so I can get all the free rewards I did still want to get some free rewards and after I started watching it you know as a Reaper main they actually released a new Reaper main Overwatch League cosmetic and I was like oh I want that so I've been grinding it out and everything you know preparing myself to actually get that cosmetic and after a day or two of grinding I want to go to the Overwatch League tab and see how many coins I actually have. Oh, only 52. I mean, okay, okay you know, let's look at the bundle. The bundle here, which has the Dallas Fuel Prideful outfit, that is, uh, you know, a nice outfit. It has the Dallas Fuel Gold actual little charm here. You get the Chained King outfit as well. That is a total of 500, originally 650, so 23% off. Okay, I have 52, so we need 400 more, basically. Let's see here. Oh. Well, we need 450, so you know it would be more like $30 in order just to buy this bundle. Okay, let's just get the skin itself then. Uh, 300? Okay, so if we need to purchase this around like 16, 17, 18 dollars in order to get the outfit I want for the Reaper skin, you know, I love. I think it looks super cool and everything, but that is very far out there. Well, you know, we only got 52 coins from watching for hours upon hours on end, so let's go ahead and look down here and see some of the other stuff. See if there's anything we can actually get. Okay, so we have bundles that include three skins, and it actually includes us a little charm okay so those are you know 350 for uh, all three skins and everything that must mean that you know with the charm and everything included the, the actual skin itself is probably like a hundred or fifty right I should probably be able to get one of these let's go look at Houston Outlaws oh it's 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 a hundred fifty not a hundred or fifty I mean, I've been watching for days straight. I only have 50 coins. You know, that, that's a little bit of a grinding. You mean to tell me that these reskin skins right here, you know, like like Junker Queen, for example, you mean to tell me this is the same? Actually, you know what? No, let's go look at Reaper. Let's get let's get a good example here with Reaper. Right? Let's go Dow's Fuel. You mean to tell me this, right? Does this blue default version of Reaper, you know, it's Overwatch 2 skin or whatever, is worth half the price of this right here? You mean to tell me that if I was to buy two of those reskin colors for the normal default Overwatch 2 outfits, that that is the same quality and the same price as this, what I'm looking at right here, which has like devil horns coming out of the eyes. I think there's a little bit of an issue going on here. All right, now I know the introduction felt a little bit over the top for some people, and it's like, okay, you're making a big deal about Overwatch League tokens, you know, you still get them for free by actually watching the tournament and everything else, and you're able to actually buy them if there's a skin you really, really want, but my main concern for it is the pricing issue with it, right? It feels like when you buy normal Overwatch tokens, you know, the Overwatch coins in the game, you have a lot of freedom, you have a lot of options available to you, and there's just a lot of niceness that goes into it, where even though it is still something that I would say is a little bit overpriced, you still get more bang for your buck where by buying something for like $20 or whatever you can actually buy a bundle of cosmetics or whatever meanwhile over here in the overwatch league section it just feels like such a scam because if you want to buy a specific cosmetic you want to buy something that you like or whatever it ends up becoming something where you have to spend like $20 for one skin not a bundle of skins but one skin if you want the bundle version that has a discount you know on it that's more like $50 $40 right and I feel like overwatch league is, you know, in such a weird spot where it's like they'll release really cool skins every once in a while. Of course, the reskins, you know, I don't really care about. I can expect the slow grind to get reskins or whatever because, you know, at the end of the day, they're just that exactly that, reskins. But at the exact same time, I'm sitting here and I'm like, well, I think these really cool cosmetics shouldn't require all this grinding to actually obtain them if you want to watch legitimately instead of spending money. I know that the game profits from money and all that type of stuff, but at the exact same time, we're sitting here in a spot, right, and we're looking at all the cosmetics and it seems like, hey, you want to play the game? You want to go ahead and get these cool things for a character you main or whatever because you think they look really nice? Well, if you want to do that, you want to go about doing that, just go ahead and watch five years of the Overwatch League, right? They'll give you like five tokens per hour or match watched. I forget which one exactly it is, but sometimes they do double token grants where for watching one specific match, you can get yourself ten tokens instead of five. Then it's just a slow, slow grind because if we really think about it, right, and we go from the conversion of even the higher up one that I just mentioned, ten tokens, if you were to watch the Overwatch League in order to, you know, obtain the Reaper skin, or even the bundle, right? Let's just go with the cheaper Reaper skin. If you do 300 divided by 10, that is 10, or 300 divided by uh, 30, wait, 30? I don't even know. It, 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 it's 10 per hour, yeah. So 300 divided by 10, you would have to watch for 30 hours in order to get enough points to actually get the skin you want. And that is a lot of hours, right? 
If you really think about it, each Overwatch League session only goes for around 8 hours a day, so if you wanted to continue watching and you want to continue getting it, assuming that for 8 hours a day there's the double points going on permanently, you would have to watch 30 hours worth of that. But of course, you know, the actual conversion is a lot slower, and it's only around like 5 coins per hour that you're actually going to be able to obtain, which would require you to actually watch for 60 hours. And considering the fact that each Overwatch League stream is around 8 to 9 hours a day, if we go ahead and do 60 divided by 8, or even divided by 9, we'll go ahead and do 8 since it's just an easier math, it is actually 7.5 days of watching Overwatch League straight from start to finish, making sure that the drops actually get granted to your account, making sure you're on an actual, you know, non-brand account for your uh, YouTube channel and everything else, because if you're on a brand account, guess what, you can't actually get your drops at all, it is completely broken, but you have to make sure that you're on all these specific requirements, and you have to make sure you're watching from the moment they go live for 7.5 days straight, assuming that each day they're streaming for at least 8 hours in order to just get one skin. Not even the bundle of skins or anything, but just to get one cosmetic that releases, and I just feel like it has to change. There has to be something, right? Maybe it's me being greedy because, you know, I like the Reaper skin, I want it or whatever else, but I feel like it's been an issue for a while where I feel that, you know, maybe even like 15 points an hour should be the standard. It should not be this small standard of, you know, go ahead and watch and get five points an hour, because I feel that even with the current rates of the, you know, the cosmetics and everything, it is way too low. I feel it has to be at least 15 minimum, you know, maybe, because like if they did 15, right, double token hours are going to end up being 30 an hour instead of 10, and it just makes it a lot more, you know, beneficial to everyone in the community who wants these cosmetics because they're able to get it a lot sooner, but of course, no changes are probably going to end up happening anytime soon, but it is something that, you know, I thought I would talk about and, you know, get a discussion going in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the whole entire Overwatch League tokens and everything? Do you feel it's in a bad spot? Do you feel it's in an alright spot? Do you think that 15 tokens an hour and then 30 if it's double is a better system or do you think that's too overpowered what is the minimized you know spot that it should be in order for everyone to kind of have the you know perfect synergy of oh you know this isn't too much but it isn't too little but i just feel like in the current state of how they're actually doing stuff the actual five token per hour limit and even 10 as double is just too little for us right I feel it is way, way, way too small, and it's something that just isn't beneficial to anyone except for Blizzard because, you know, it keeps their watch time really, really high because they don't have to worry about, oh, you know, this cosmetic is going to be bought by everyone in the first day because people who want it, right? And if they don't have the money to spend on actual, like, tokens or whatever else and they have to, you know, just watch the stream, we'll be watching and watching for hours upon hours upon hours on end. And, you know, even if they didn't want to raise the stream thing, I feel at the very minimum they should go ahead and do something like making it so the actual price of Overwatch League tokens tokens in the store is a lot cheaper. But with that said, this is my little bit of a ramble, you know, as someone who wants the Reaper skin and is continuing to watch Overwatch League for the actual skin, I think they should change the pricing up a little bit. But with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's video. My name is Fire Monkey, and I'll catch you guys next time with another upload. Peace out.